Hello. I'm on the Rose of Water and I'm in the middle course of the river. And I know that because the river is starting to meander. It's starting to bend. It's developing its sinuosity. And this really is a classic meander. It's got an asymmetric cross section. And what I mean by that is it's deep one side and it's really, really shallow on the other side. And if we're actually describing the features that make up the landform, on the shallow side, we have this gradual slope. And at the base of the slope, you can see an incredible amount of sediment. And we call that a point bar. On the opposite bend, what we have is we have really, really deep water. And it's fronted by what we call a river cliff. Now, they're the descriptions. What we really need to be able to do is explain how a meander was created. And what it is, it's all about energy. Now, where the river is flowing quite fast, we've got high energy. And we get that on the outside bend of the meander that we can just see there. And it's that energy that leads to erosion. And through hydraulic action, the power of the water, and abrasion, the power of the bed load, it's eroded and scoured out that river cliff. On the inside bend of the meander, there's very little energy. Now, because there's very little energy, there's no real energy left over for erosion. So it's actually going to be all about deposition. And that's where sediment is deposited, which creates the slip-off slope fronted by the point bar. I'm on the outside bend of the meander, and I'm actually at the top of the river cliff. Now, you can actually see the fast-flowing white turbulent water that's really energetic. That's what's going to be creating the energy for the erosion, which is going to happen through hydraulic action. And you can see the water is really fast flowing. The water is going to have the energy to erode into the river cliff. And furthermore, you're going to have energy through erosion, through abrasion, where you're going to have the bed load, which is eroding and scouring away and undercutting the river cliff. Oh, this looks great. Come on, let's have a look. So what we're heading towards here is an absolutely fabulous example of deposition on the inside bend of the meander. Have a look around. And if you look down, you can actually see how I'm stood on the point bar. You can see all of the deposition. Come on. There's hardly any flow here whatsoever. There's no energy. That's why the deposition is taking place before our very eyes. Far side, check it out. You can actually see the fast flow of the river. It's really energetic. Look, another river cliff. Fantastic.